Hi Leo and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love and soulmate reading for mid-month November from the 15th through the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys are having a wonderful month of November so far and have some fun holiday plans coming up to, with your families. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here with Leo's love and soulmate reading. Okay, Leo. Let's see what's going on for Leo. I'm going to do the spread here where I pick for two sides, and you can decide which energy you think you're bringing to the table. It's kind of flipped sideways, so it could be this way, could be that way, but the initial feeling from what I got from this card is that you're kind of tired on, on waiting for communication from somebody. Energy over here. Um, it's like waiting on waiting waiting on communication from somebody Okay, here we go. Okay. So I kind of have the feeling this is we're going to keep this sideways. Here's what I'm getting, Leo. Energy on the right side. I feel like this is your energy over here, Leo. Um, person over here, very confident in what they want, has been very patient, has been very communicative, has, you know, given their heart into uh, what it is they care about. And it's gotten to the point where this person is kind of like, okay, what's going on with the communication? I feel like I'm the one giving, 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 and I'm not receiving anything. And it's like you're looking it straight in the eyes. You're being very... You're being very forward about what you want, Leo. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, so... Person on, uh, person on this side, not really willing to work on this relationship, not really putting the time of, uh, not really putting the work in. Uh, you know, the first thing I'm attracted to when I look at this card is this character. It's some sort of like dealing with some sort of clown or somebody that's not taking this seriously. Is somebody that, somebody that's not putting in as much work as you over here. Could be dealing with somebody that may be more focused on work or work comes first to them, or maybe it's that uh, they just aren't focused on, you know, making things work with you right now. I have this very impatient feeling when I look at this card, when I get the energy from this card, it's like a very, uh, very, um, It's kind of this energy of just like not really wanting to wait around for this person anymore. So, Eight of Cups over here, Leo. Uh, the energy I'm feeling is like, although you feel love with this person because we have the cups upright, you feel love with this person. You feel like there is something here that you can grow on with this person. Although you feel like you need to walk away from something that you're not getting... Uh, you're not getting reciprocation from, you're not feeling like the need to stay, you're feeling the need to maybe walk away from this. Um, because you know what you deserve, you know what you're capable of achieving, and you know that, you know your worth. And so you're really kind of like, it's the same person in this picture. It's like, why sit around when somebody's playing with my heart? Why sit around when somebody's not going to take me seriously? And when somebody's not going to, um, you know, Give as much dedication and time as I do. 
I feel like the communication may be off here, or it may be that you guys are not even communicating at all. Let's go ahead and get one more card for the left side. Oh jeez, okay. One more card for the left side energy. <clears throat> left side energy, one more card. Leo, love, and soulmate, who's on the left side, one more card. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. So, so we have the Six of Swords here, Leo, on this side. So, let me look into these. I feel as if you have somebody that feels like they can come in and out as they please. As I feel this card strongly, I couldn't get a feel for it to go this uh, upright or in reverse. I feel like it was meant to be sideways. I feel like this person comes in and out as they please. As that's somewhat selfish and that's somewhat um, inconsiderate. So you may be sitting over here thinking, wow. So you're kind of sitting over here becoming very impatient. You've been, you know, I feel as if you've given this a lot of time and you've given this a lot of persistence, but I feel as if you feel the need to walk away now in order to take care of yourself, in order to put yourself first, because you don't want to put yourself through this anymore. It feels like this person hasn't been, hasn't been like, um, you know, putting the work in and this person comes in and out. I feel like in here with the Six of Swords in reverse, it's like, They just come in and out. They, they, they do what's convenient for them, and they don't really regard how this is going to make you feel. And I feel like that upsets you. That that really messes with your emotion, and that really, uh, really triggers you. Because they don't fully commit to walking away, and it's like as soon as you get back on your feet, and as soon as you feel like you're gonna be okay, I feel like this person will be like, "Hello," and you're just like, "Oh my God, nightmare, not again." Okay. <clears throat> so we have the Queen of Swords here on this side. I feel as if communication is going to totally be cut off. Somebody here is going to be completely cut off from communication. Somebody's going to become very cold, very distant uh, as this action here proceeds. Um, and somebody that kind of they choose to walk away but they don't full heartedly do it or they choose to walk away and not even make you aware of what's going on it's very confusing um, the energy I'm getting is very confusing are you guys confused in this relationship are you confused in what's going on because the cards read that there's a lot of confusion okay and so an outcome card here okay seven of wands is an outcome card here so I feel as if, you know, one or both of you are really being persistent, really holding on, really trying to stand your ground, really trying to make things work, even though it was a huge struggle and it was very, um, very taxing and weighing on your emotions. You know, for a lot of you, you're very passionate toward this person. You feel very strongly connected to this person. That's why you may, maybe you stayed in this a lot longer than you feel as if you should have. Um, but things have gotten to the point where it's so rocky, it's becoming... A, it's becoming internally draining as you may feel that you're dealing with somebody that doesn't regard how they're making you feel. They don't, they don't fully uh, communicate with you to the extent that you need. And so with the Seven of Wands here in reverse, I feel like this is something that you know you need to leave in the past, although your heart might not be ready. It's something that deep down you have this knowing of you will be better without them because they bring you pain. Does that make sense? They kind of, uh, they kind of cause so much of a headache and so much work that it's easier when you release that and you don't, um, it's, it's, you don't want to commit to this pain anymore, so you're releasing it. Uh, it may be that you need to give this a break. It may it may be that you're tired of the miscommunication here as the Queen of Swords is in reverse. It's miscommunication. It's coming off very cold, very blunt. 
and I feel as if you might be cutting this off because you feel like you need to walk away from this. Okay, Leo, that is all I have for this reading. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your month and have a very happy holiday. I do apologize if this video doesn't resonate with you as this is a very general reading for many people. However, if it does, feel free to let me know in the comment section what does or does not. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.